To use Read Live, you need to add students and assign them licenses. It's also important to know how to set a student's status to inactive and how to delete students. Eleanor Epps, a new student at Springfield Elementary, needs to be added to the program. Let's watch the school's reading specialist, Paul Ramos, add her to the list of students. Paul logs in by entering his account number, user ID, and password. Paul needs to go to the Student Setup page, where staff members can view and edit basic information about their students. Account administrators and school coordinators like Paul get to the Student Setup page by clicking Student Administration, and then Student Setup. Teachers can go directly to Student Setup from their home page. If you are unsure of your role in Read Live, look on the My Profile page accessible from the page header. Paul wants to add his new student, Eleanor. On the Student Setup page, he clicks Add Student. He enters Eleanor's name, grade, school, user ID, and password. Each new user ID must be different from all others in the account. On this page, Paul can also enter Eleanor's student ID, homeroom, and contact information for her parents or guardians, but it's not required. Notice Eleanor's status is automatically set to active. Her status must be active for her to work and read live. Paul verifies that a license is available and assigns one to her. To license Eleanor, Paul also must designate someone to be her lead teacher. This is the person who will be making educational decisions for Eleanor, like deciding the level of material she should work in. Paul will be serving as Eleanor's lead teacher. Once Eleanor is licensed, she automatically has access to Read Naturally Live. If Paul checks any of these boxes, she also has access to the other programs he selected. When the data is complete, Paul saves it. Notice that Eleanor's name has been added to the list. Another task you may need to perform is to set a student's status to inactive. William Yang recently moved out of the school district. His former teacher, Paul Ramos, knows that William won't be working in Read Live this year, but he'd like to keep William's data in the system in case he moves back. So Paul decides to set William's status to inactive. On the Student Setup page, Paul finds William Yang in the list and clicks his name. Paul selects Inactive, saves, and confirms the change. Notice that William's status is set to inactive. To hide inactive students on this page, Paul sets the filter to show only active students. Notice William's name is hidden. Note that if your role is account administrator or school coordinator, you can change the status for multiple students at once by selecting the students in the list and then clicking Change Status for Selected. Account administrators and school coordinators can also delete students from the software. Deleting a student permanently removes all the information about that student including scores on completed work. Deletions can't be undone, so use caution. Only inactive students can be deleted. So, to begin, change the student's status to inactive. Use the filters to display inactive students only. Check the box next to the student's name, Click Delete Selected Students and confirm the deletion. Jim has been deleted and no longer appears in the list. To show the active students once again, clear the status filter so both active and inactive students will be displayed.